I'm going to do the baking. You still have time to pick up your own and our first guest can help out with both. Yes, Juan Ayala with Barbell Sweets is here. That's why we have our gloves on and he is ready to show us because I love this. What did our producer call it? Empanada? Empanadas. Yeah. <laughs> so what are we making today? Tell us what's uh, in So today we're going to be making our uh, pumpkin and pineapple empanadas. Ooh. So I brought the dough and I brought the fillings. Uh, okay. So that's what y'all are going to be doing, is just kind of putting them together. And putting them in an empanada, uh, it's a little untraditional, but the nice thing is you can then sample like that. Mm. Yeah. Cut them in half. Mix and match. Yeah, instead of doing like a slice of pumpkin, a slice of pecan, you get one or two of these, yeah. right? Yes, yes, sir. So we do uh, different flavors, pineapple and pumpkin right now. Uh, mm -hmm. But the great thing about uh, empanadas, you can do different flavors. You can do meat even as well for more yes. of a savory flavor. Okay, the dough looks like regular old pie dough, but it is nothing like regular old pie dough, right? Right. No. So uh, the way that we make our dough is actually it's a fathead dough. Uh, the main ingredient in it is mozzarella cheese. So that's what you were thinking probably yeah, about the pizza. <laughs> mozzarella cheese in Mozzarella, yeah. So we, dough. you melt the cheese and some, some uh, cream cheese together Yeah. and into a big ball and you add a couple of uh, cups of flour and almond flour because we don't use any uh, regular flour. Okay, so that has that's basically mozzarella cheese. Uh, with the, the other, with the majority, yeah, it's probably about eighty <laughs> percent cheese. Okay, that's almost hard to believe. Okay, so and then you just stuff it with yeah, your just press it down. favorite flavor. Yeah, uh, you'll probably want to do it in your hand when you get the the dough. Oh, okay, Put, just hold the dough in your hand oh, and you go gotcha. flat okay. and kind of cup it. Cup it like Put that. a spoon in there. Okay. And yeah. can you basically put just about anything in here? So we, yeah, yeah. So you could do apples, you could do yeah. pineapple. We do the pineapple and pumpkin. Uh, like I said, you could do like a, a carnita, like meats. Mm -hmm. uh, and what, what I love about Barbell Sweets is that you guys started this because of your son, right? We you did. wanted to kind of limit the sugar, yeah. and so this became. Yeah, so we actually is. started with one uh, cupcake. It was actually a muffin, it's a chocolate almond muffin. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to cut the sugar out of his diet. And he kind of shared that at the gym that we were going to, and nice. we went up from there. So it is kid approved. Yeah, yeah, we love. You we said have all three uh, of your three kids. kids that love different things in our shop and constantly eating it every day. So okay. <laughs> now, if somebody was to do this at home, could you just use like regular pie dough and put the filling in? Yeah, yeah, you can use uh, any pie dough that you that you can get that's malleable. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of it uh, may be a little bit more crusty, uh, where it's flaky and it doesn't really fold. All right. Um, I can't believe there's cheese in this. Like, I want I to smell it. I know. No, it doesn't smell like cheese. No, it doesn't. <laughs> then, to give it that nice little uh, golden texture. So once you finish uh, doing the, the wrap, mm -hmm. you want to fold the edges with your fingers, kind of right. roll it. Uh, that way it doesn't come out of the edge. So oh, what okay. I did so here, fold do it not roll. do this. Okay. <laughs> you made yours a little too small. You could just kind of pinch it. Okay. And then so. once you're done doing that, all you would do is get a egg wash. Mm -hmm. So it's just a, basically a beat up egg Ooh. with a little bit of water. Uh, baste it over the, the top of the dough and then we bake it. And how long would you bake it and what time? Uh, so it only bake? takes 20 minutes to bake. So 15 minutes on one side, turn mm -hmm. it for the other five to finish baking. And, and what flavor do I have here? That one you have the pumpkin. Okay. Time to taste. Mm. And people still have time to order, yeah, right? Yes, so if you place your orders in today, uh, you can get your uh, pumpkin pie. You can get uh, any of your order by okay. Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving. Okay, today's the day. Can you, can you taste the cheese? <laughs> Not really. I mean, it's the thing, it's, it just It's a like different like a, type yeah. of uh, texture. Uh -huh for the dough, um, but for the most part, it, it passes for pie dough, and I, th I think it has a great flavor. Yeah, it does. You wouldn't, I mean, you really wouldn't know the difference if you just said, okay, it's a regular, you know, pie dough. But again, the nice thing about this is, hey, a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of something else over there, and yes. a couple of these things. And, and the pie over there, well, first let's talk about these. So these are the pumpkin roll. So right? this is a pumpkin roll. We have our, these are called our rollout cakes. Uh, we have our triple chocolate has a chocolate center uh, cream cheese with chocolate cake and then a chocolate ganache on top. Uh, the other one is pumpkin uh, and vanilla center. And then we have some hand pies that are apple and cherry. These over here, mm -hmm. okay. And then that pie has a crust on the bottom, right? Yeah. So the great thing about that dough is the empanadas, the hand pies, our cinnamon rolls, bagels, a lot of that, uh, a lot of our stuff is made with the same dough. Okay. And that dough is specialized uh, for low carbs. And that's the reason it's made that way. It only has, the empanadas have about three carbs per empanada, what? which is great because there's no Taking sugar these. or flour. Right. Okay. So, well, like, and like you we have said, a deal as well. Yeah, you mm -hmm. have a deal? Yeah, so if you uh, mention the segment today, then you get a 15% discount okay. at our shop. Don't forget, if you want to order, do it today, basically, or you can take your chances and head on over there and you're out in uh, Hello. In Hello, right? yes, sir. Okay. 
All right. If you'd like more information on Barbell Suites, go to our website, salab.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you, Juan. Thank All you. right. Delicious. We started with dessert. How was it? Oh, really good. <laughs> Silly question, right? <laughs> but now it's on to the main dish. All right. You know, there's lots of ways to prepare your turkey, uh, fried, smoked, mm -hmm. roasted, spatchcock. We did that last week where you split it open. But how about just... Wrapping it in good old bacon. Yes, here's Chef Gay Sandoz from Tony, Tony Saturis with more, and I think she's wrapping this turkey, what, in bacon? Bacon. Take a look. Yeah. 